they've got their swords up. Alright. Paradise is up. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Eridus. <laughs> I'm like... Ah, uh, no problem. <laughs> okay, so Eridus will take that five-foot step. Uh, here. Alrighty. And see if he can nail him with the bastard sword. He can! Nice. There you go. Nice hit. I was rolling through some slow numbers to get to that seven. <laughs> <laughs> it did roll slow. So he obviously sliced through uh, one of his legs and... Alright, so Shushek uh, kind of turns around and looks at Eris and says, You look like somebody that needs to die. He uh, uses his uh, trident. As well as um, he has his trident in one hand and kind of swings down twice with it, trying to jab quickly and uh, tries to claw and bite Eridus. And is uh, able to hit with his uh, trident. And does light damage to him. Tanner's up. I'll uh, five foot step to here. Okay. Here it goes. We'll see if it works. Alrighty. He succeeds. So I hit him, right? Or yep, did you did hit him. You hit him, but he saved. Were you casting a blindness? Yeah, I was trying to cast blindness. So what's he getting now? Gotcha. I think he negates it. What's the spell right. say? I think so. Just a saving throw, fortitude. Yeah, fortitude negates. Alright, gotcha. So he's uh, able to shake off the spell. Right now. Stay right here. Alrighty. That's all I can do. Sounds good. So the keep soldier says, um, he says the the lizard folder are staying back. They're not coming. They're not coming any closer. Cormer's up. Oh nope, never mind. Uh, Bose is up. All right, same deal. Oh. Oh. Ouch. All right. There it is. Cormer is up now? Cormer's no, still, still down. down. Yep. Okay. Yep. So Yin and Yang are bound. <laughs> Alright. So Shushik does the same thing that he did before, trying to claw and bite and uh, use his trident against uh, Eridus. Catches with a claw and the trident. And, uh, 
hits him with both. And Tanner's up. Nice. Good heal. Good heal. So, uh, Cormor pops up, um, and uh, obviously Eridus feels a little better. Any movement at all for you, or no? No, I'll probably stay right where I'm at. Alrighty, sounds good. So I'm going to go page down to Cormor here. So Cormor's up. Uh, he's prone, though. Sorry. Yeah. He can use a wand when he's prone, right? Sure. I have to, uh, what, use magical device first? Uh, yeah. Which wand are you trying to use? Uh, Ray of Enfeeblement. Nice, nice call. I was going to use it right in the beginning, but you got taken out before you <laughs> used quick. Nice. So he knows how to use the device, so you can go ahead and use it. I'm sure he's got uh, targetings. Do you need some help? You got you. Oh. Nah, it's working now. I was gonna say you had him targeted. Yeah, I guess. Old fantasy grounds, hokey. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little hokey. Oh, he succeeds. So you can do half. There's a there's a one that says uh, a succeed roll. You see it there. There you yeah. go. Nice. So um, you hit him with the uh, the ray of enfeeblement. Nice. Bows is up. Unless he wants to stand up, but he gets an attack of opportunity if he does. Uh, I, I can you take that off him? I put the wrong one on him. Which one did you put on him? Oh, he did the failure. Yeah, uh, uh, usually the one. Can you do usually the? Usually the one when it succeeds is uh, on the right. Oh, the did one. I change it? Can you roll a 1d6 for me? Well, uh, he gets a plus to it, so yep. I can do the, uh, he that gets one a plus right two. Alright, sounds good. Just roll a 1d6 for me. Nice. <laughs> so it's a plus five is what he gets? Yeah. He has a button for it. It's just they're reversed from the way I have mine. Oh, gotcha. I think it's probably the one. So he gets a strength of negative five. Okay, cool. And, uh... He'll try and crawl. Okay, sure, I'll let him crawl five feet. Nice. So Bose uh, shoots his his uh, arrow using a panache point, um, hits him, and uh, does a pretty significant amount of damage. And I did nice on that one. Yeah, you did. <laughs> that was a nice roll. You guys are all getting nice rolls, actually. It's good. All right. Uh, so let's see. Eridus is up. So he'll stick it out with another round of full fighting. Alrighty. Nice. So he connects with his bastard sword. Damn, look at these rolls. Nice job, nice. man. That's awesome. So another slice through him. Alright. Shukak takes a five foot step. He's like, I hate magic users. 
takes another swing at Cormer. Hits him with both. This may kill him. He's dying. Tanner's up. Anything, honey? He's like plus he's one. Really, he can last in the soda. So he can it. take uh, 13 damage, is what he can take. He oh, he's up again. Enough. Nice. Yeah, I'm almost out of those, though. Oh, yeah. He could always do a withdraw or full retreat. I assume you're not going to move. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so the Keep Soldier sees the um, leader kind of get right next to him, so they turn around and they start swinging their long swords. Misses. Misses. Cormor's up. So he's prone. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough spot because he stands up, he gets an attack, so it's hard. Yeah, and one wrong attack, and right. I mean, if he gets a good hit, he's dead. Right. So, um... Yeah, it's tough. Can't drink a potion because that'll get an attack. So yeah, it's hard. He's in a tough spot, man. Now the only who, other, who are we talking about? Cormer. Cormer. The only other thing is is yeah, double defense. He <laughs> may need it. I th yeah. And let's see there. I'll see electric gray. Maybe a supernatural. I'll have to look and see because that would you could shoot that without an attack of opportunity. It's supernatural. Go ahead. Uh, or you can do it. total defense, or you can crawl five feet. Or... Plus, I'd hit my guys with it, too. Uh... Right. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. We'll go with total defense. All right. Five. Sounds good. Bows, you're up, buddy. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna have to move in order to hit him. So. Yep. No move there. Okay, sounds good. And I'm gonna do another Panashi point. Oh, so ah. close. And I was, I gotta hit my perform thing because that affects the damage. I forgot sure. to do no that problem. first. No problem. More than this, that, but. Oh, damage, 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 damage. Come on, baby. Got him to critical though. I'll take it. All right, so keep soldier three. Takes a five foot step. And um, obviously uh, he attacks. Oops, try that again. And misses, we had a good attack too. Eridus is up. So you, can si you guys can see to the east, there's probably about eight or ten lizard folk that are kind of just standing there sort of watching as the other guards trying to keep them away. 
And you can see Sheshik and uh, the other uh, Hishka kind of looking on as well. Ah! Another low roll. Right. High one, couple low ones. Yeah, nice hit. I'll take it. I'll take a hit. <laughs> you had a flanking too. I don't know. You probably didn't take it. But... Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Excellent. So uh, Shushak sees that he can't get to the magic user and turns towards Tanner. Says, stop healing everybody. Thank you, honey. Wow. So he hits you with a claw. There you go. Does some light damage to you. Unfortunately, you're not flanking, which is weird since he's completely surrounded, but... Yeah, their flanking's kind of silly. Their flanking rules. Yeah, it's a little hokey. Well, they, should, they should go with more of the Warhammer ones. Yeah. For this. Uh... Ooh, miss. Yeah, miss. Alrighty. Soldier misses. Soldier misses. Cormor's up. Okay. Cormor will stand up. Alrighty. So he stands. Hill magic missile. Nice. Good old magic missile. Oh, he's critical. Holy smokes! All right. Um. So nice job, Cormer. <laughs> you can't get any closer. All right, uh, Bose, you're up. All right. Um, same thing. My last one here. So as you're getting your arrow ready, and he's like, Ilthane, you gave me the the elixir, the special elixir that was to help me." wasn't for that, I wouldn't be. Hey, shoot Shukek in the back and he sort of falls down and collapses to the ground. All of the uh, lizard folk in the in the elk in the alcoves there kind of all gasp and kind of whisper amongst each other. Keep soldier kind of says, uh, "What am I supposed to do?" There it is, sister. He's down, just so you know. He's dying. Oh. Uh, oh, she said kill him. Alright, so I'll, then I'll just do a coup de grappy. Alrighty, sounds good. Chop the whole head off. Yep. Down with shoot. So, off comes the head, and Eridus lifts it up, and all the uh, lizard folks set a kind of set a uh, kind of, sorry, kind of bow down and um, whisper, and they're just kind of like. Kind of humming the sound back and forth to each other. Nice job, guys. Nice job keeping Cormor alive, too. Yeah. What a, uh, that was ugly. Yeah, it would have sucked if he would have died and he wasn't even here. 
Yeah. Alrighty. Um, so Eridus has the head, and obviously the body's kind of squirting out blood. And... What you guys like to do now? Um. Well, we're gonna go back to the priestess there or whatnot, and say uh, your deed is delivered. Sure. So Hiska kind of comes over to you guys and sees the head hanging there, and um, you know she sort of gives this speech to the uh, lizard folk that are there, saying Shushak was in league with Ilthane, who didn't have our best interest, and the humans are here to help us, and um, I asked them to kill him because I think that he says bad intentions for the tribe and kind of goes through this whole diatribe about everything and uh, some of the lizard folk are seem to be behind her and others seem to be kind of disgusted and walk away she says thank you so much for for destroying him and um she says i will keep my my word of the agreement and she goes back and casts a healing spell on uh, marzena i'm making we want to make sure that marzena is in 10 piece when she's uh released i'm not gonna do anything stupid Okay, sounds good. So um, Sheshka removes kind of the bonds and she starts casting some spells. And um, Marzina, obviously, you know, kind of awake. Do you think you can help me get rid of the... And she kind of leans back and kind of thinks to try to say the talisman that protects our eggs from the Ilthane, uh, Ilthane's talisman that protects our eggs get rid of it that it protects yes uh ilthane had us put something down in the egg chamber to protect our eggs could you think you can help us get rid of it oh so it's not really a protection thing is it well i have my doubts that's what she says to you yeah we will help okay so uh, marzana is kind of getting healed she looks pretty beat up um to be honest with you, and, and even though they they cast healing on her, she still looks like she's uh, kind of kind of in rough shape. I thought I had a character for her, but I guess I don't. So um, I have a picture over here. Hang on just a second. So Marzana kind of comes to get comes to and says thank you to the. Sheshek who's healing her and she looks over to you guys and she says, who the hell are you guys? The rescue party. The rescue party? <laughs> she kind of chuckles and she says, I didn't expect to be rescued in the middle of a lizard folk uh, den, that's for sure. She's like, how it's, the hell? It's how we roll. We make peace through superior firepower. She's like, how the hell did you know where I was? Um, well, you know, we kind of uh, cracked the lizard folk through the swamp and into here and passed all their little traps right to you. She just kind of shakes her head. She's like, okay, you'll have to tell me this story on the way home. Well, first we have a, a task that we need to take care of, so you may be able to return with your guards, but uh, we have a task we need to put to uh, put to measure here to try and help these folks out. She kind of looks around and looks at the guards and she says, I think I'm going to stick with you. <clears throat> so Hishka kind of looks around and she says, um, do you guys uh, need any healing or are you ready to go on down? Uh, I think we're going to need a, a night of rest. She says, um, you can do, um, why don't you sleep in the um, Lizard Folk King's room and I will um, have Sheshek protect you guys while you sleep. All right. Does that uh, sound that good? pretty good. All righty. So uh, I don't really have a character made for her, but get something in there for you. So M is Marzana there. So um, you guys go ahead and go into the room and keep soldiers obviously they're like well do you want us to go on guard with her or do you want us to sleep with you <laughs> well not sleep with you but you know what I mean you could have them rotate the guard <clears throat> a 
Okay. Is that kind of what you guys want to do, is just have them rotate guards? With uh, the lizard chick. Okay, oh. yep. Sounds good. So you guys are able to get a full... Do you want to cast anything before you go to sleep? Yeah, I got one last chance. We can, yeah, I'll throw a cure light on the chicky chick too, or... Okay. Or, well, I guess Cormier needs it more, so Cormier's prior. Yeah. Uh, so those are my two cure lights. Okay. So as you guys go into the room, you guys do find a pile of equipment, and Marzena says, Hey, it's my stuff. You guys okay with her grabbing her own stuff, or? No. Yeah. Oh, no. no. No, no, no. Okay. She says, why would That's the price of rescue. She's like, you're going to take all my stuff? Yep. She's like, okay. Maybe we'll take, maybe we'll take one item of our choosing as our reward. How's that? Whatever you guys think. It's like, I'm happy to be rescued, so if you want to take something, you're more than welcome to, I guess. But what does she have? So, um, she has... There's a wand, there's a ring, there's a dagger, and there's a cloak. Heck, magic. Figure out what's uh, it's all, promising, I guess. It's all magical. Oh. Um, does anything show a more powerful magic than in the next? Nope, it's all the same. Well, I asked her what are the items, and maybe we can figure out what uh, she said. So there's be a... useful to us, and sure, she says there's a wand of burning hands, there's a ring of protection, there's a dagger that's special, and the cloak of resistance. Seems kind of miffed. Uh, maybe the uh, ring of protection? She says, sure, no problem. It's a ring of protection plus one. Alright. So she takes the remaining of the stuff there. Is there somebody that wants to put on the ring of protection? Um, what about our caster? Uh, you got a ring on already that's giving you any AC in that? I think he does. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, he's got an amulet. Does he have a that, ring? That does protection? Bracers. But protection is its own uh, nope. enhancement. Uh, I, I have a ring, but I don't think he does. Yeah, his is of uh, natural armor, I think. Yeah, let's give him the ring of protection. You guys are cool with that. Yeah, that's cool. Alrighty. So he go at um can you just uh just add a generic uh plus one in your stuff and then type in something in the inventory for me. I don't have the I don't have her equipment plugged in yet, sorry. I'll add it in later. Uh uh, inventory plus. Oh wait a minute, who am I giving it? Who am uh, I giving Cormer. It? Cormer. I Cormer. think. Okay. Uh, Cormer is doing it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I think uh, Tanner's got it. And then I add that to miscellaneous or just inventory. If you just type in, uh, just click yeah, on the brown. Yeah. yeah, in combat you'll put it up there underneath. Uh, the combat tab you'll put it underneath uh is it deflection i think uh what protection gives yeah i think it is deflection yep all right we can put it there for now and we can fix it later so if we need to cool he's got it all righty so you guys uh <clears throat> you got everybody healed up there where you want them healed what about eridus you guys want to heal up the last little bit lay on hands or something 
Yeah, yeah. He should probably lay hands on himself. Uh, the cleric's dry. Um, well, he's only got a six and he's resting overnight. He's okay. Back five with that. Alrighty. Might as well save it just in case something goes wrong and he. Somebody needs to lay something on somebody. Sounds good. So you guys he's, go. Oh, go ahead. He's get. He's getting a full night's rest though. So. Uh, assuming that nothing happens that we don't uh, we didn't plan for. Alrighty. So um, you guys are able to sleep through the night. Nobody seems to give you guys any issues. All right. Cool. Um, you guys awake and see that uh, Sheshik is still guarding the door, and the the keep guard that's there is kind of yawning. It's like, ah, type of thing. Looks pretty tired. I thank him uh, for his uh, diligent guard, and, All right. and uh, sorry that he wasn't able to sleep last night. But he's uh, probably doing his his uh, clan a good deed here. All right, sounds good. So, um, Hishk, Hishka, the, uh, the lizard folk uh, druid, kind of older lady, kind of walks in and she says, Well, I've talked to my lizard folk and they agree with our plan for us to ally with the humans. She said, um, The area that needs to be um, attended to is our eggs. Now, I'm going to let you know that Ilfane has left some guards guarding our eggs. They may give you issues when you get there. Lovely. What kind of guards? Um, we thought they looked like, um, oh, what do you folk call them? Um, oh, they live in the hills and in the caves and, uh, they're, they're kind of shorter. They almost, they're not humans, but, um, they got kind of long noses and, oh, I can't remember the name of them, but they're down there and they're guarding. I think there's five or six that are there and, you know, Ilthane may be there too. So, um, you may have some problems with Ilthane. Um, hmm. Marzane is an M, just so you know. Sounds like a goblin, huh? Goblins or something. Yeah, well, they're underwater, so... She kind of says, well, you know, part of the passageway is underwater, but then the eggs are kind of floating in water, but the room is not underwater itself. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I guess we'll deal with it when we get there. Appreciate what, what information you can give us. There's some way we can use that for knowledge to figure out what she tells you talking about.